What do I do with my hands? <laughs> <laughs> my name is Brandon. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Uh, be good just to hold them down by okay. your side. Yeah, great. With um, with what was going on, and uh, at the end of the day, um, you know, you got to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are a saint. Look at this. Oh. Turn that water into wine. <laughs> our first beer in Amsterdam. We walked in, found our group, the original seven. Uh, oh, yeah. Don't be, I don't need. <laughs> <laughs> mm, it's like uh -huh. sweet. There's like a safe. Fresh, fresh Heineken. Yeah. Yeah. Fresh. And welcome to our shared room. Steve and Roberta. Hi. Hi. <laughs> All right, so you guys got your side. We, I am assuming I'm three, Matt, and you oh, yeah. are four. <laughs> Whatever way you would like, my dear. I'd like to be on top. Okay, you can. I am coming to you from the Generator Hostel in Amsterdam where Matt and I are sharing these two bunks over here with our roommates, Duca and Roberta of Odd Life Crafting. And we're also here with uh, Elizabeth Earl Wrights and then Sean and Brandon of Barnacle who are the awesome guys that made it possible for us to come to the uh, Marine Equipment Trade Show, largest in the world here in Amsterdam because they took their two person Airbnb and exchanged it for two rooms and hostels. So we just bought the plane tickets we flew out here, we're gonna start the show in the morning. It's going to be crazy, and we're gonna take you through all of it, but right now, all of our friends are waiting down in the lobby for us, so. We're gonna go see Amsterdam. We're gonna go check out Amsterdam, we'll see you in the morning. After eight years of the nomadic life, involving crossing oceans in a 34-foot saber, refitting an aluminum boat, and then taking that to the Arctic Circle, we're back at it again with a brand new build. This is Matt and I'm Jessica. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and join us every week as we start our newest project of building a 42 foot catamaran from the ground up. Welcome to Mets 2022. And if you can believe it, this list behind me is every single vendor that is showing it. There's over 900. So completely overwhelming. This is the first day of the show and we got in just a little early because of our press passes, uh, which means we get access to the press room where there's coffee, which we desperately need. And food. Yeah, and the coffee's food. the most important part. The coffee is going to be the most important part. We did some enjoying of Amsterdam last night. Got in a little late. Uh, so now we're gonna pep ourselves up and get ready to tour these 900 vendors that are here. Coffee and orange juice, I'm in heaven. We started our morning off by attending the Dame Design Awards, which represent the pinnacle of design effort needed to improve user experience and manufacturing efficiency. The trends there have been quite on the very interesting products with electrical background. The jury carefully assesses interest for a series of design criteria for function, ease of use and integration, innovation, environment, and price to performance. And the winner is... The overall winner is, ladies and gentlemen... Oh, Oh, yeah, right now. Probably nothing for us here, but it's still fun to look. You know, like one day we could be super yachters. Probably not. Oh, there we go, black. <laughs> Matt's excited. That is good. Oh, so we're going to go through chalk. Oh, yeah. This being all integrated here, any of the water that leaks in is now coming in and coming out there. Oh, wow. Look at the machine work on it. The hatch pattern here. Oh, that was awesome. 
That is beautifully machined. Our plan for the day, after visiting our friends at Barnacle, was to see as many vendors as possible. Since we wanted to visually take everything in, instead of hunting companies down, we decided we'd pass by every single booth just to take a look at what was being offered. Wow. That's beautifully done. Normally, you just have that little button on the bottom of it to release this full on. And then when it releases, the Pelican actually still holds it in position so it's still tension until you pop it off. Full point of the Pelican. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. 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 Yeah.
We want to keep future generations experiencing the same splendor we have. I'm told that the first 200 purchasing a title pack using my link will effectively be next to my plot within a few minutes of walking. I tell you, she has me doing the worst things now that she's a lady. Sweeping the sand before she walks across it, it's sand. Spoiled is what she is, spoiled and all high and mighty. Make sure to check out our link in the description box below and use the code MJSailing for an additional 10% off their already massive sales going on. Good night, peasant. Good night, you prissy sauna. Good morning from day two of the Mets. I guess I wouldn't call it show because that's saying show twice. <laughs> Good morning from day two of Mets. We are the first people in the press room this morning to get our breakfast. Matt and I covered a lot of booze yesterday. Feet are hurting. Poor Duca may not be able to walk today. Yeah. Got like a pinched nerve in his foot. So yeah. he might just hang out with the barnacle guys. But yeah, really excited to take in yet another pavilion and then tomorrow our last day we're gonna do like the last pavilion because there's again over like 900 vendors here and we're gonna walk by every single one of them <laughs> so as i was mentioning matt and i did like a third of the show yesterday we covered this whole area here not quite sure how many booths there are and then on the opposite side of this dome there's another set of Booth. and so we walked every single row in here and now we're gonna go to the next one over and then I think tomorrow there's like a separate pavilion across a walkway so so much to cover but isn't this amazing and how beautiful is this space too Antal is actually what Max Cruz uses on their production versions of the boat. So when I want to go see Hull 4 and Hull 6 this is what's on there so I think Matt's enjoying just kind of like looking at it a little bit more in person too because then he can talk to Terry about more stuff. We're also on the hunt for a water maker that will suit our needs since we have an odd place we'd like ours located, on the inboard side of the owner's hole by the shower. So I promise one of these times when our friends at Barnacle slow down a little bit, we're going to introduce them and show them what they're going through. But luckily, they have a booth full of interested people. So right now, the four of us are going to go talk to Vetus and say hello because we've got, of course, like their headquarters are here and a whole team. We only get to talk to the U.S. team, so now we get to get in touch with like the Dutch team a little bit more and get to know them. Every year, Vetus rents a space across from Metz to have as their VIP lounge for discussing products with OEM dealers. We were fortunate to be invited across as well, and not only reconnect with Marcel, the CEO of Vetus, but meet Sander, who heads up marketing for the company. We're so thankful to be a part of the Vetus family and tremendously appreciate all the help they've given us on our build. Today, it seems to be like, instead of visiting all of the booths, we're socializing with our favorite vendors. So we just got done going to the VIP lounge for Vita. So we were able to meet the marketing director, Sandra, there. And now we're just catching up with our friends at Mantis Anchors. And then each of these countries, if you can tell they're sectioned off by country, there's the American section that we're in now, are having different little parties. So the UK party's going on right now. We might check that out. And then the US party starts at six. So it is a very fun and social event to be here. We first started at the British party where there were some nice snacks and the Heineken and wine were flowing. On our way back to the Barnacle booth though, we came across a party that Victron was throwing, and they had Prosecco, Captain's Hats, and live entertainment. We make boating look good. We do make boating look good. <laughs> So we ended up staying there just a little longer than we intended to. Pretty bird. 
Good morning, everyone. Today is the third and last day of Met's trade show. And although I sound maybe chipper, I don't know, my voice is a little scratchy. Um, got five hours of sleep last night because I think we, with Rachel, were entertaining some people from Fountain Peugeot last night going to the clubs and doing a little dancing. And while everybody else has already taken an Uber to the show right now, I am breaking off because I get to go to the U.S. consulate to get an emergency passport. I don't know if I had mentioned this already or not, but I left mine on our flight from Iceland to Amsterdam. Thankfully, because I know you're probably thinking, how did you even get into the country? And if you've left it on the plane, how did you clear immigration? They checked us in to the EU in Iceland. And so we were able to just walk off our plane and I didn't realize till we were at the hostel that I did not have my passport on me. So after lots of calls back and forth and the fact that they have not found it yet, I get to get a new one. So that is the fun this morning. The compact one that we just uh, released. I mean, we released it last year, and then we had um, a little issue with compatibility. Okay. And now it's a. Uh, last day of Mets, yeah, and so, yeah, you didn't yeah. get any coverage really because I have spent most of my day dealing with the passport issue, hanging out at the consulate, got back here for about an hour, then I had to go back to the consulate to pick it up. But anyway, we could not end the show without talking about our awesome friends at Barnacle, which again is the whole reason that we're here, because they got us a hostel so we can all hang out together. But they do put out an amazing product, so we are going to let Brandon do his little pitch. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. I'm Brandon with Barnacle. <laughs> we develop a boat security monitoring system that allows you to check on your boat remotely from your smartphone, tablet, or computer. You can check on your batteries, your bilge pumps, your shore power connection, and you can trigger photographs when a door's open, laser sensors triggered, and other alerts. So this is my personal sailboat, the Inconceivable, located in Canada right now, and she's floating around on anchor back in Canada. And so we've got all these GPS points showing where she's been floating around. We've got our battery voltages, our bilge activity. Uh, the door is currently closed, which is great to know. Uh, the pitch and heel. So that's actually the attitude of the boat in the water. And as the storm's coming through, you can actually see the pitch and heel change as the winds, uh, winds are building. We have impact monitoring so you can get a notification if someone bumps into your boat or if your boat runs aground if you're chartering your boat, for example. Temperature, it's one degree Celsius back in Victoria, so it's basically freezing outside, which is tough. Laser sensor, wireless battery, uh, our door locker sensor showing that it's closed. On board the boat, we take photographs. So if someone gets on board the boat, we take a photo inside and we take photos outside with some night vision. And then you can see all your historical data as well to see the solar charging and all the different settings and sensors within the system. And that's the barnacle. So something that we are very much looking forward to having on our boat when she gets in the water. But as many people have said, great to have just in the tent right now. So I think we're going to have to set something up because it could just have the cameras going all the time. Absolutely. And um, as I said, the show is ending right now. So I apologize that they're taking everything down if things are hard to hear. But yes. Good times. takedown. Watch your feet. 